My question to you is that how exactly are you growing your network marketing business? What strategies are you using that works or do not work? When people started network marketing, the one problem that people had was getting clients for their business and recruiting the team members. You know, the majority of people out there are introverts. They are overwhelmed and frankly speaking are scared as hell when it comes to prospecting both for selling products and building a team. People usually introduce their friends and family first and after that they had no idea how and where to find other customers until they jumped on social media and started looking for their new shining stars. We have realized that there is an old way and the new way to do your network marketing business. And we know this because when people were doing things the old way, they were not able to recruit more than 5 people in a month. And when they started adopting the new way, they were recruiting more than 20 people in a month. So what is that new way? Simply by using strategic investments and creating a marketing strategy that works for them. So the number one is to have the right business mindset. Starting a network marketing business is not a hobby. You are starting a business and you have to keep this in mind. The problem with most people who join network marketing is that they are attracted by the claim that you can make a full-time income with part-time efforts. But what? They do not realize that in order to reach that level, it takes hard work. People used to sacrifice a lot of things to get there. There were times where they did not want to do the work, but they had to in hard times too. Otherwise, they would not be there where they are right now. You probably have heard this before, but a glitch as it is, you must treat your business as a business and not a hobby. Also, self-investment is crucially important. There are people who have a fear of investing money into their business because they see it as either spending money or wasting their money. But the most successful network marketers are those who invested in coaching, courses and mentoring and with that on the tools and resources to run their business. No one says that you have to invest huge chunks of money at one time, but it is always best. If you want to see the growth that other successful network marketers are doing, they are having, then you also have to do what they are doing. Now, number two is do not fake it. And this is true. A true story must be there. Often when people get hooked with a network marketing business, their mentor usually says to connect everyone on your phone contact list regardless of who it is. And yes, people do so. They call their longtime friends to catch up with them. And of course, they would be surprised to hear from you and rightfully so. So when you told them that you had joined a network marketing business, and uh, you had some really amazing products that could help them. And yes, people exactly use those words. And immediately as a result, your that long-term friend knows that you are making it fake. And this is exactly what happens. And you do not want to do so, so do not be the fake friend. If you want to be successful in your business, you have to be genuine. So if you think that contacting a long-term friend just to try to sell your products to them and you are feeling so much uncomfortable while doing so, then don't do it. Well, there are many ways that you can actually get a sale without bugging those friends who really are not your friends. Now, point number three is leverage the social media. If you do not know by now, social media is huge for building your business. Every day we connect with so many people who are successful and also not so successful. But we know what we have one thing that we can offer to them and that is value. This is how we will be able to recruit multiple people in a day from social media. 
And our biggest tip for growing your business with social media is to find one or two platforms and master them. You also heard that jack of all trades, master of none. You can actually hurt your business when you are spreading yourself thin and trying to do everything at once. I agree that any social media platform is great for networking and prospecting, but you will never be an expert if you are trying to grow an audience over all platforms. So some of the best platforms that you can try on that are Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and YouTube that you can give it a hit to. Now the point number four is your business is never about you. It took a while to understand this next point but when people got it they had an aha moment. When you start a business you must start your business with the prospect in mind. At the end of the day, your business is there to serve the people. It is never there to serve you. As a network marketer, if you want people to consider doing business with you, learn how to provide helpful content that will genuinely help your audience for solving their problem. And here are some ideas. Number one is share different ways on how the product has helped you. Number two is share the tips of how your product can help other people. And last number three is share how the product made other people feel. For example, do you have testimonials to prove that other people are using the product and like it? Then just share it. You must believe it that when you work on serving more people, they will come to you instead of you chasing them. Point number five is take the help of the internet. A few years ago, belly to belly network marketing was a good way to market your business. Trust me, if you were comfortable prospecting on the streets, on the malls or beauty fairs, then you may have gotten a few good sales or leads into your business. But for someone who was an introvert and having anxiety when it comes to approaching a prospect, doing it this way was never a great idea for them. Instead, after a couple years of trying and seeing no major shift in business, you should turn to the internet to see major results. It was the best thing that one could do for their business because it allows them to reach far more people than they could speak to in a day offline. Using the internet and other advertising strategies may help you to make hundreds of product sales and build a team of personally sponsored people. This was by far the most important change and achievement that one can notice in their business. There are many platforms that you can use to advertise your business. So simply choose one and just master it. Now point number six is leverage the marketing system. I do not know why most of the network marketers are against this idea, but for me, it is no brainer. If you want to grow your network marketing business fast and successfully, you need to know how to use marketing tools to automate your business. You can take all the hard times out of what you would normally do and give it to a system to do on your behalf. This is how you will be able to speak to over hundreds of people in a day about your business and ended up closing some sales. You see, marketing tools allow you to show your prospect, your product or opportunity without you speaking to them. You simply set up a website or lead capture page and an email autoresponder communicates with them. Whilst it, the prospecting part can be automated, you still need to build relationship with them. So consider the ways that you can build that relationship by offering coaching and mentoring that teaches the lead how to grow their own business. The must have marketing tools that you can use in your business are lead generation pages. And if you want to learn how to generate landing pages, then let us know in the comment box below so that we can bring videos on that too. Now point number seven is teach your team the duplication. 
when you learn how to use marketing system to grow your business, you need to teach your team the same thing. This is how you can grow your team to over thousands of members in a short space of time. Something that works for you and is so easy to replicate can help other struggling team members also. When you introduce these systems into your team, it is a win-win situation for you and your team members. It helps the team members build their team quicker, make more money and more product sales and put money in everyone's pocket. Now point number eight is get a mentor. Having a mentor was the first step one must take to transform their business. You first need to pay them for their services, but in return, you will be given valuable information that helped you and your business catapult into success. When looking for a mentor, find ideally two people, one within your business, who is where you want it to be and another outside of your business who can teach you a skill set that is important to be successful in your business. Subscribe to their courses or coaching programs and listen to and do everything that they say. And doing part is what is most important. You want to take massive actions on the ideas that they have given to you. And at the end of the day, they got to where they are because of the tips that they shared with you. Now, point number nine is believe in yourself. Not only having a business mindset, but also a positive mindset is the key to helping you achieve your goals. When you have a positive mindset, you attract positive things into your life. You must also have a strong belief that you can achieve your goals. When you doubt yourself, you are more than likely to avoid taking actions, which only leads to procrastination. People who are unsuccessful have those major stumbling blocks. Until they get out of the funk, they will never have the life that they truly deserve. If you are stuck in a toxic mindset, then I recommend you to watch over these self-help and self-improvement and personal development videos to develop a positive mindset. Now, last point number 10 is never quit and be consistent. As we all know that consistency is the key and the ones who never give up come out successful. Network marketing is not a get rich quick gig. But if you give it time, you will nurture it and be disciplined, taking actions and be consistent, you can accomplish that goal of being a top income earner or achieve the success that you want. However, you define that success. I will not lie, but there will be challenges. There will be times that you will want to quit, but embrace your journey with gratitude and keep moving. This is why I want to help many people become true online entrepreneurs and network marketers and build their brand successfully because I have learned so much things by this industry. And one day you will too and you will be able to use the highs and lows in a positive way to keep building yourself. So this is it for this video. Stay with us in this journey of meeting your better self. So this is Devya from Tegunity Academy. We'll see you soon in a brand new video with a brand new topic. Till then, goodbye. Take care. Jai Hind.